Welcome to NATV, and this is the African News Roundup. Nigeria moves closer to local vaccine production. 30 requirements left. The Director General, National Agency for Food and Drug Administration and Control, Professor Mujisola Adeyeye, has said that Nigeria has 30 left on the list of requirements put in place by the World Health Organization for the production of local vaccination in the country. According to Adeyeye, the World Health Organization has laid down 240 requirements and Nigeria has been able to meet up with 210 of them. This is good news for Nigeria. Will Nigeria have its own vaccine this year? We will find out. South Africa. South Africa hits a new record with 26,000 daily COVID-19 cases on Saturday, the 3rd of July, 2021. And this is as a result of a largely unvaccinated population. Now remember that early this year, the government had to destroy about 2 million contaminated Johnson & Johnson vaccines doses. And to tackle this problem, South Africa on Saturday approved the China's Sinovac vaccine against the COVID-19 pandemic. Uganda, two charged with murder over the death of Minister Wamala's daughter, two suspects have been charged at a magistrate court for a fatal shooting targeted at Uganda's transport minister, Edward Katumba Wamala, that left him severely injured and took the lives of his daughter and driver. The two, a 38-year-old motorcyclist and a 46-year-old herbalist, early this year allegedly sprayed the vehicle of the transport minister with bullets leading to the deaths of his daughter and his only driver. The two are bound to remain in custody until the next appearance in court, slated for the 3rd of August, 2021. Ivory Coast. Court jails 10 for child trafficking in Ivory Coast cocoa sector. A court in Ivory Coast has sentenced 10 people to 10 years in jail for child trafficking to work at cocoa farms. This is a part of an effort to climb down an organized network that smuggles children in cocoa plantation. Ivory Coast, the world top's cocoa producer and the company that buy its cocoa are currently facing international pressure to tackle child labor and put measures in place to guarantee sustainable farming. The suspect all pleaded guilty and they were arrested in April while trying to transport about 40 minors between the ages of 10 to 17 years old. The deputy prosecutor, Edgar Damore, said that Ivory Coast economy is based on agriculture and they must ensure that the products, especially cocoa and coffee, are never the result of child labor. He added that the transport license of the company, whose coaches were used to transport the children, has been suspended. And that's all on the African News Weekly Roundup. Stay tuned for more.